All right, let's jump right in and add the date today. The date is the 13th, the 13th. It is April 13th, 2021. Here's that number 13, number 13. Head straight up the calendar and it tells you today is Terrific Tuesday. Today is Terrific Tuesday. There we go. All right, here we are on Tuesday. Jump backwards to see what yesterday was. Mm -hmm. Magnificent Monday. Yesterday was Magnificent Monday. And let's take a look at our calendar again. So we have had Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, wh wh Wednesday. Wonderful Wednesday. Here we go. Let's go ahead and read these sentences together. Yesterday was Monday. Today is Tuesday. Tomorrow will be Wednesday. All right, let's take a look at our days in school. We are counting down. We are counting down our days in school. So we have two tens. Here they are, one, two. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We took away one. So instead of having 28 days left, we have 27 days left. 27 days left of school. Moving along to our story problems. We are still working with our fishy fishies here. We are starting with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And for the next couple of days, we are going to keep starting with ten because we're going to work on subtracting from ten and then adding things together to make ten. So we're going to be working with tens. So we have ten fish, but we are going to get rid of those yellow fish. They are going to swim away. So we're going to show that they are going away by putting an X on each one of those. So that's two, there's three X's, here's four X's, five X's, and six X's. So six fish are going away. So we have our minus sign, and now we have to write how many go away. Now when you are solving a, um, a subtraction problem, you are solving to find out how many are left. How many are left? So we have 10 minus 6. We started with 10. We got rid of 6. How many are left? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 are left. 10 minus 6 equals 4. Now, I already told you we were starting with 10. We we're working with 10, making 10s and subtracting from 10s. So we're just going to go ahead and fill in the rest. We already know we have 10 fish all together. We know that there are four pink fish, and we know that there are six yellow fish because the pictures for the what we just did and what we're working on right now are exactly the same. So 10 equals 4 plus 6. So here's our fact family, and it's an important one. All these making 10s are very important. So we've got 10. We had four pink for part of it, and the other part were six yellow. So the whole thing is 10, four was part of it, and six was part of it. So our fact family is four, six, and 10. Four, six, and 10. And you know that from a fact family, you can write two addition equations and two subtraction equations. So let's go ahead and write our addition equations. So part was four, the other part was six, and all together we had 10. Now, you know with an addition sentence, it doesn't matter which part you add first. So let's, this time, let's add the six first, then the four, and you still have 10 all together. Now with the subtraction, you have to start with the, oop, I gotta make it bigger. I will make this a little bit bigger. There we go. We are starting with 10. I probably have to do the same thing down here. Let me see here. Make it a little bit bigger so my 10 fits on the same line. Okay, so you're starting with 10. Now, you're going to subtract 6, like what we did in our problem, um, our subtraction problem. So you had 10, you subtracted the 6 yellow, and it left you with the 4 pink fish. But if you would have subtracted the 4 pink fish, then the 6 yellow fish would have been left. Isn't that cool? All right, so here are your equations for the fact family 4, 6, and 10. So 4 plus 6 equals 10. 6 plus 4 equals 10. 
10 minus 6 equals 4, and 10 minus 4 equals 6. What a cool fact family. All right, let's do a little telling time, a little telling time. Now remember, there are two hands on your clock. They're called hands. There's an hour hand and a minute hand. And the first one we're going to look at is the hour hand, the hour hand. When you look at the clock, there are 12 hours represented on your clock. It goes around 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 is all covered up. But there are 12 numbers represented on your hour, uh, for your hours. And for a day, the, they have to go around two times because there's 24 hours in a day. So there's the a.m. and the p.m., the morning and the afternoon. We're going to look at our hour hand first. Always the hour hand first, because that's the number that will come first. So your hour hand is pointing to the 3. Well, if it's pointing straight up to the 12 and it hasn't moved at all, hasn't started moving around the clock, it's pointing straight up to the 12, it means no time has passed since 3 o'clock. So that's the reason we have the two zeros. These two zeros represent the minute hand, the minute hand. So since no time has passed, it's double zeros, it is... 3 o'clock. It is 3 o'clock. Um, today, after calendar, I am including a song to help you um, review vowel sounds because we all know how important vowels are. So I will include a vowel sound song. <laughs> 